Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the Canning Nana. Today we have a very special video coming to you. Today I am in collaboration with 29 other channels led by Jenny Goff called Croctober. So we are showing you 30 different recipes through the month of October of how you can use your crock pot with maybe new recipes that you've never seen before. And I will tell you, these gals have had some amazing crock pot recipes and I know what's coming and <clears throat> there are amazing recipes coming. So make sure you follow on the playlist and go through everybody's videos. Um, I'd like to thank Jenny for including me in this. This is the first year that I'm in it. I know they've done it for, se for several years and I have watched it for several years. Um, and I'm really privileged and honored to be a part of it for this year. So my contribution is going to be chicken chili. And I am going to uh, show you the ingredients or tell you the ingredients for a single batch, but what you see in front of you is for a double batch, pretty much. Um, you can make this your own. <clears throat> You'll see from the ingredients of what I'm doing. Um, I will tell you right now the ingredients for a single batch, <clears throat> and then you can double it as you want or play with it and, uh, and make it your own recipe. So. What you see in front of you is some chicken leg meat that is boneless. Um, <clears throat> I bought some on sale last week. It was 49 cents a pound, you guys. I couldn't pass it up. Uh, canning uh, some chicken with it, some ugly chicken with it, and then hopefully making some chicken soup <clears throat> in, in jars. So, um, or more chicken soup, I should say. So Lipton Soup Mix, a package. <clears throat> Um, I use the off brand, you'll see that right here. You can also use just onion powder. And if you dehydrate your onions like I do, just put it in your, um, your processor and make fresh onion powder always as you need it because onion powder clumps up really, uh, really easily. And, uh, and just add that. Or like I said, the onion soup mix right there. It's really easy. I'm gonna be using a whole packet if you're using onion soup mix, use two tablespoons of onion soup mix per batch that you make. <clears throat> cream cheese. So you want one eight ounce container of cream cheese per batch that you use. Today I'm going to be using two of them. Diced tomatoes. So you see two cans here that I know in my recipes, you guys very, very rarely see canned food from the store. It's always my canned products. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using that as much as I can. These are in my cupboards. I do not can sweet uh, cream style corn yet. I have regular corn. The recipe actually calls for regular corn. Um, but I wanted to do a little twist on it this time and use cream corn and make it even more uh, creamier. I think it'll give it a better flavor. Um, I've done it a few times with this and I really prefer the cream corn for this. And then my diced tomatoes are basic garlic and oregano. Of course, you can use Rotel. Um, I'm also adding some hatched chili peppers that I had frozen and saved. Um, and you can, you can add this for a little bit of spice. We're also going to be adding a little bit of cumin, so spice as needed. Um, if you like it a little bit spicy, add some hatched peppers or just some uh, chili peppers. Canned chili peppers are fine or you can buy fresh chili peppers in the store, roast them and throw them in, be delicious. We're going to be using a packet per batch for, of ranch dressing. Again, um, this is not the brand name, this is an off brand. I believe this was from Aldi that I got a sale on, um, gosh, several months ago. So I'm gonna be using that. So one packet of uh, ranch dressing per batch that you do. We're also going to be using a packet of chili. Um, I have a ton of these because I'm a Watkins uh, consultant as well. Don't really promote that very much, um, but their chili mix is, is amazing. So again, one packet of chili per batch that you make. Um, let's see, beans. So you're going to be adding beans. I'm. This calls for black beans, so I'm going to be adding my black beans but I'm also doubling my recipe. So again, I'm gonna be adding some of my pinto beans. So, um, and I do have some of my canned whole Roma tomatoes that I made, um, a little bit leftover from 
last night's dinner that we made. Uh, so I'm going to be putting these in there too. And I'm just going to put these in whole because they're going to, um, this is going to cook <clears throat> for several hours and it's going to cook down and um, it, it's just going to give it really, really good flavor. And then of course my, um, a little bit of garlic because I add garlic to everything because I'm Italian, you guys. So that's my excuse. <laughs> Lots of garlic and everything. Okay. And then when you're all done with this dish, you're going to want to have cheddar cheese and maybe some tortilla chips to top it with, and it'll be absolutely delicious. So I am not going to be editing this video today. Um, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to put this together completely through, and then on my community page and on the picture for the video later on when this is all done, um, this the picture will be on the video um, of the prepared meal. So make sure that you check out my community page for uh, the picture as I go and what it looks like when we're uh, serving it because it's it's delicious, you guys. Um, this is one of my go-tos uh, when I just want something different, some comfort food, don't really want regular chili, um, and just want something something totally different. It's really good. Okay, let's start putting it together. Okay, so I need to open my beans first. Let's see if we hear that little rush of air come through. Oops. There we go. Good seal on that one. Good seal on that one. Awesome. Okay, so we want to do the beans first. So I'm going to go ahead, whoops, let's move this so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to do the beans first. Okay, now that I have the beans, this one can of beans, I'm going to start turning it on high. I'm going to get a spoon. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing I like garlic, you guys. I'm going to be adding some of my garlic. I'm just going to add a little bit. That's a little bit to me. Um, this is some of my minced garlic that I do at home. Put the lid on that so it doesn't stay out. And then I'm going to put the black beans in there. So, because this has cream cheese, you cannot can this afterwards but I will tell you that it does freeze very very well and I freeze any leftovers that I have in either food saver bags ziploc bags or plastic containers um, it freezes wonderfully it, it's it's that good you're not gonna want to waste any of this and it's delicious heated up um, this is just amazing Okay, so next we're going to be adding some of the green chilies. Because I'm doubling the recipe, I'm going to put all of these chilies in because we like it a little bit spicy. And then I'm going to be opening my ranch packet and putting that in there. And I've got two of those. So I'm going to go ahead and open both of these. Okay, so here it goes, one ranch packet, and the other one, here, we're going to want to put some of the chili mix in there, and I've got two of those as well. Okay, we're going to add our cream corn. Now, I've only got one can of cream corn. Um, normally, I would put in two cans, but it's fine. And then our can of diced tomatoes. My own tomatoes in there. This is just a dump and go recipe, you guys. Really, really easy. Um, cumin to taste. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there for right now, and then I will taste it later on and see what it's, how it's doing. 
and then our packet of onion soup mix. So if you make your own onion soup mix or your own dehydrated vegetables or freeze dried vegetables, you can certainly add those in there as well. Um, I actually have some of my Thrive Life um, red peppers that I'm going to be adding and I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, here is my Thrive Life um, freeze dried bell peppers and I'm going to be adding these. Not too many, but just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. And these will refresh in here um, as it cooks, so no worries there. Okay, now we're going to stir this up. Break apart those tomatoes just a little bit. So this is, I want to say, this is an eight quart. Um, it's an eight quart uh, crock pot. So this is bigger than it looks. I know it doesn't look that big. Let me, I should have done this the other way because I am right-handed and it's my left wrist that's been hurting me. Okay, so this is going to be nice and thick. Can you guys see that? It's gonna be nice and thick. Um, there you go. So we're gonna put the chicken in there and then we're gonna put the cream cheese on top of that. Look at that, you guys. So this is gonna be nice and hearty, great for a cool night but good any time of year as well. So I live out at the beach here in California and we get cool weather so I can make this year round. Um, so when I make a big batch, so I can, I can quadruple this recipe um, and I will freeze some and I just eat it year round. It's so good, you guys. But again, um, if you want to, to can this, you would have to can it without the cream cheese and add the cream cheese later. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna start adding our chicken. Okay, first piece of chicken that I had left over. Put that in there. Put this away. Okay, I'm gonna add the rest of the chicken. Let's put the chicken in there. And again, these are legs. I do prefer thighs. There's a lot of fat on here and I cut off as much as I can. It's okay if you have a little bit of fat in there. This is going to cook all the way through until it's shredded. Um, it'll be shreddable, I should say, shreddable. Okay, so I'm gonna add the cream cheese on top of that. And I cut the cream cheese in chunks, so I'm just gonna lay it right on top. Cut it even smaller. And the cream cheese is going to just melt right into this. So I only cut one cream cheese right now. I need to get another one out and add that to this. Okay, so. Got these chunked. I'm just gonna put these down into the chili. I've got, I'm working kind of with one hand, you guys. So I've got um, a bump on my wrist that we thought was a ganglion cyst, but it's not. Um, so I'm usually in a brace, but I take it off when I can, <laughs> which is a no-no. And, um, fighting some other health problems right now. But I am doing what I can because uh, I love to teach and I love to uh, show how we do things, you know, how we make things. And I wanted to be a part of this collaboration that was planned a couple months ago, I think. Okay, so that is all the ingredients. So our pot is hot already. I'm just going to start pushing things down in the pot. I'll do it with my left hand so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And as this cooks, the cream cheese is going to melt. So this is actually going to be a white or whiter chili because of all the cream cheese. And when this is finished, you can also add, or, or when it's almost finished, um, you can add some cream, uh, some sour cream to it as well. It's very good with extra sour cream. 
or you can serve it with a dollop of sour cream on top. So there we go. So this is going to cook for about five to six hours. Um, and I have it on high right now. I'm going to lower it down a bit. If you want to um, quickly cook this, you can keep it on high for two to three hours and it will be ready, um, no problem. So there you go. That is our chicken chili, you guys. So like I said in the beginning, I'm not gonna edit this video. I'm not gonna show the finished product right here, but I will probably do a special video later on um, or tomorrow and show you the finished product. It will also be a picture on my community page. Um, I also wanna let everybody know that um, I, I did just reach 7,500 subscribers, but I'm doing a 7,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, and that was just extended until Friday um, for some personal reasons that I have to do. Um, because of my health so I won't be able to do it this afternoon like it was supposed to be done um, but I'm adding some extra prizes and some of the prizes are an electric kettle um, a water bath canner um, there are ball canning books there are USDA canning books um, there are my uh, debubblers from my channel This is what that looks like. These were clear. Um, this all comes off right here. Um, these are specially made for my channel and they're available also in my Etsy store, um, Jack and Diane Designs. But I'm gonna be giving away quite a few of these. And uh, some Thrive Food, Thrive Life Foods. Um, lots of, lots of stuff that I'm giving away, you guys. Uh, canning lids are one of them. Um, if you're new to my channel, I've been getting canning lids for, um, numerous people for the last three to four months because I'm able to find them in my area. Um, so I've been selling them at my cost plus shipping. Not making a profit on this. I just want to get lids to as many canners as possible um, because I wasn't able to find them in the beginning of the year either. And um, I had to buy jars. So I know what that's like. And um, I have a ton of jars with lids and I'm also stocked up on lids for the next year at least but I have plenty to sell um, they are getting scarce I have curl lids um, wide band I think I've only got three of those left but I do have um, Kerr regular with the bands and golden harvest I have a bunch of golden harvest regular lids so if anybody needs lids just contact me my email is the canning nana at gmail.com um, and please subscribe to my channel and uh, I have lots of good videos there I teach canning dehydrating uh, food preservation food storage um, and self-reliance and I'm going to be starting a beginning canning series that was supposed to start this week but since I'm doing the giveaway Friday afternoon um, and the giveaway will be Friday afternoon at 5 30 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time um, the series will start on Tuesday of next week now. Um, so everything's kind of been pushed back a little bit um, as I recover from um, my hand and also some blood pressure issues and some other issues that I'm dealing with. It's been a whirlwind, you guys. So um, I'm just glad that I can get this to you guys because this is such a delicious dish. And um, don't forget to check out the playlist. I'm going to... Uh, put that in my description probably this evening or tomorrow morning because I'm not going to be available um, after this video is done and it posts um, but thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel watch for hashtag WOTD word of the day to enter my giveaways and it's usually in the middle or the end of the video and for the next giveaway for my 7500 subscriber giveaway um, the word of the day for today for this video is going to be crock pot. So um, just put crock pot in the comments below and you will be entered to win in the random drawing um, there from today on uh, until we do the next giveaway which will be probably early November um, to mid-November. We'll see what's going on. Um, 
but there will be a dehydrator being given away then and um, a herb grinder, um, veggie grinder, and I lots of videos showing you guys that. Uh, after you dehydrate, I make all my powders and things like that, my own seasonings. Um, so I hope you join me at my channel and uh, it was a pleasure to make this for you today. Thank you again to Jenny Goff and um, the other 29 ladies and gentlemen that are absolutely amazing and uh, glad again to be a part of this. Thanks for watching you guys.